DeepSeek has officially announced DeepSeek V3.1 in two forms, a base model and instruct model that you can access right now today on their API and also on their web chat. The DeepSeek V3.1 comes at a very interesting time in the way large language models are moving. For example, Quinn as a company has moved away from a hybrid model instead of having one model that can do both thinking and non-thinking, they have two different models. And this is a model that a lot of companies are taking while OpenAI on the other hand has gone into one model that can do all the other things. There is a concept of hybrid inference and there is a concept of non-hybrid inference. And in this case, DeepSeek has made a choice to go into the hybrid inference phase. They have one model that can do both the modes, thinking mode and non-thinking mode. If you are on their user interface, the chat interface, you can toggle this deep think on and off to make sure that you are not in the thinking mode or in the thinking mode. I think it's a very interesting choice. We will have to see how this plays out. But overall, if you see DeepSeek V3.1, this is an improvement over their existing model. Is it a completely trained new model? No, this model has been built on top of their V3. So this is continuous pre-training, what we call as P CPT. This has been continued pre-training for long context extension on top of V3 with 840 billion tokens. And this model does a few things like very good. The most interesting thing I would say is for the same level of accuracy for even like slightly marginally improved accuracy takes lesser tokens. So as you can see here for Amy 2025 for 87% accuracy, this model took the previous model R1, which is like one of the most celebrated models took 22,000 tokens while deep seeks V3.1 think mode took only 15,000 tokens. The same thing you can see across the board, there is at least like 40 to 50% of improvement in the way tokens are being used. And that is very critical for agentic environment because you want low latency, a low cost because these models charge you based on tokens. Despite having a new model, despite having an improved model, this model is supposed to cost you less because it is going to output fewer tokens. And in terms of pricing, the pricing is a bit competitive because DeepSeek comes with $1.68 per million token output price. Uh, I mean, forget about input cash without cash and all those for a moment, just purely output $1.68 per million tokens. When you compare this pricing with GPT-5, you can see GPT-5 is $10. Even GPT-5 mini is more expensive than DeepSeek. I'm not saying GPT-5 and DeepSeek V3.1 are same models, but when you compare a pricing like this, I think it is very enticing for developers to start using DeepSeek V3.1. There is a base model and there is a fine-tuned instruction model. So these two models are available on Hugging Face with MIT license true to DeepSeek's value. The blue will is back with open source licensing. If you want to access this, you have to just go to chat.deepseek.com and then start chatting with the model. Like I said, you have to toggle between deep think. If you enable deep think, it's in the thinking mode. If you disable deep think, it is in non thinking mode. Just remember it is just remember it is only one single model that is doing both the things. It is 128,000 context window. It's an MOE model mixture of experts model total 671 billion parameters with 37 billion parameters active during a given phase. Model is to be supposed to be good for multi tone conversation. So the model outputs lesser tokens. It's better for multi step agentic task and the model is going to cost you less. This is like a golden egg for developers who want to now try out DeepSeek API. I mean, if you're not worried about, you know, China and Chinese servers, then this is a model that a lot of people would end up using. Another brilliant thing that DeepSeek has done is they have supported the Anthropic API format. So they know that everybody is struggling with Anthropic's API endpoints, especially to keep Fra up. So DeepSeek has enabled Anthropic API support. So that means you can start using Claude code, but with DeepSeek in it. I, I, honestly, like another very brilliant move. I think overall, this is an excellent release. I mean, it may not look like an excellent release from the benchmarks alone. Like for example, if you see DeepSeek V3.1, um, it, it might look like marginal improvement, but if you see all the model providers, I think where DeepSeek is positioned, I think it's an excellent alternative for the US companies, flagship companies. And I would love to test out DeepSeek in further and then make another comparison video. Let me know what you think about this model. See you in another video. Happy prompting.